So in a couple of days ago, Zack Snyder guest starred in the Hall of Justice podcast where he discussed the creation of the DC Cinematic Universe and many other things. In the podcast, he was asked his thoughts on the mixed criticism on the portrayal of Superman in the movie Man of Steel. Now, before we get into it, you have to understand this. One of the biggest complaints that is in Man of Steel is the way how Superman is portrayed. A lot of people are claiming that the Superman that we see in Man of Steel is, quote, not the true Superman, unquote. So when Snyder was asked this, he responded with the following statement. People are always like, you changed Superman. If you're a comic book fan, you know that I didn't change Superman. If you know the true canon, you know I didn't change Superman. If you're a fan of the old movies, yeah, I changed them a bit. That's the difference. I'm a bit of a comic book fan, and I always default to the true canon. Not the cinematic canon that sort of, in my opinion, plays fast and loose with the rules. And so I feel like I try to create Superman, or at least a Superman, that would set a tone for the world. <sighs> Look, people complaining about changing a long-existing character is something I never understood why is this a surprise to some people. This complaint depends on which Superman, well, in this particular case, we are talking about Superman, so whoever is complaining, it depends on which Superman that person who is complaining has grown up with. Because there are because there are constant reboots and multiple versions of Superman all throughout comic book history, there are many people who think a specific version of Superman is the definitive version. So no matter what you do when writing a story about Superman, be it continuing the continuity or establishing a new one in a different universe or an alternate universe, you will always have people complaining, claiming that the version that you wrote for Superman is the, quote, not the true Superman, unquote. In my opinion, to be honest, there is no definitive version of Superman, or at least not anymore. That has been thrown out the window the moment he's been rebooted the second time, so yeah. The thing that bothers me the most is when he mentions true canon. Okay, first off, the moment you start talking about the true anything, you're heading to elitist territory. That is probably one of the most elitist things you can ever say to anything. That's just my opinion. And second, if anyone is a comic book fan, they would know that there is no true canon, at least with Superman. Like I mentioned before, DC has rebooted and reinterpreted the character to the point where it's impossible to determine what is true canon? Now that I think about it, I, th I believe that Zack Snyder is talking about the Golden Age S Superman. Which, if that's the case, then... Where in that canon is it established that Papa Kent dies while forcing Clark to do nothing but watch him die? Now, in the movie Man of Steel... The reason that happens is because Papa Kent is still afraid of the world's reaction upon seeing Clark and his powers. Basically, when Superman is first revealed to the world, he's afraid of how that would turn out, which kind of makes sense. But the way he does it in the movie is so dumb. And it's not even... If Zack Snyder claims that he is sticking to the true canon, where in the Golden Age of Superman, which I believe that's where he's getting the whole true canon from, where in that has that ever happened? How about this? Where is it established that Superman is some form of Jesus or bridge between two species? I don't understand what is the problem with admitting you created an interpretation of a character. Look, look, Zack Snyder, it's your movie. I get that. You were the one who created Man of Steel. Well, technically you directed it, but you did have a huge influence in the movie. You had an idea on how you wanted to portray a certain character. I get that. You just don't need to justify it by claiming bullshit. What you just said is really bullshit. The fact that you said that you haven't changed Superman, yes, you did. And it's so blatantly obvious, too. 
the fact that you had to go with claiming that you've taken or always stick to the default of the true canon. There is no true canon. And you even have the nerve to say if you are a comic book fan, if anyone, anyone who's been reading comics for more than three years knows that there are multiple interpretations of many characters, multiple reboots, that there's no way to follow them because they keep rebooting it constantly. And that's a complaint that I've been mentioning time and again. Have some integrity for your idea. You want to stand by your decisions of Man of Steel? That's fine. But please don't pretend that your interpretation of Superman is as faithful to the comics as you're claiming it to be. Because let's be honest, it's not. It really isn't. I think that's all there needs to be said. That's pretty much my thoughts on what Zack Snyder said about the portrayal of Superman and Man of Steel. I'm, I apologize for the short video, but I'm a little bit sick. And I, when I was writing the script for this video, I was trying to generalize everything. I didn't want to make it as long as probably six minutes or so. Plus, my throat hurts, so I'm kind of getting tired of talking. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. What are your thoughts on what Zack Snyder said? Let me know in the comment section below. And also, if you have seen the movie Man of Steel, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. In my opinion, I liked it at first, but then I started hating it. But now, after re-watching it after some time, I think it's an alright movie. So I'm I'm a little bit torn on what I believe, the what I think the movie is in my honest opinion, but yeah, let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, my name is Biscuit Rebellion. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.